All right, everyone, now it's time to import our views. So here I've got all of the files for our template and inside WW root, I'm first going to delete all of the things that we have here because we do not need them. And there are some public files that we need to put inside the root folder. And these are the files that are public and is going to be accessed by the URL. So each time we open up a page, for example, the index page, the CSS is by a link inside our HTML page. And for that, we are going to put it inside the www root so the HTML file can load it easily. Now for our HTML pages, because I do have two controllers, let's remove the home controller. I'm going to create two folders. One of them is going to be home, which we had it, I shouldn't have deleted it. And the other one going to be admin. So inside home, we are going to have the index and the work details, because these are the two files that the user can see. Other files is going to be just available to admin. And uh, let's just rename the work details to just details. So now let's put these two files inside home and the other files going to be inside admin. And as for the type, I'm going to change the type to CSHTML. All right. And now if we run our application, now let's go inside our home controller. Let's do a bit of cleanup. We do not need privacy and I'm just going to go with the default routing. Let's uncommon the things that we have here. All right, we do not need blog. Okay, that's our default routing. If we run the application now, it's telling me that the index has not been found. So there's two reasons that we are getting that error. One of them is that the I inside our index that says HTML is not capital. And the other reason is because we have imported these files and change the extensions, the files need to be built inside our project so we can use them. So by just running the project or rebuilding the project, the files will not be rebuilded here. The case is different if we have created this inside the Visual Studio by right clicking and adding a new view. So what we should do here is to right click on our CSHTML, go to properties and inside properties here we have build action which is set to none and we should put this on content. So I'm going to do it for other files as well and go to properties and here set it to content. All right. And now if we run our application, okay, here you can see that we have our page as the index page. And if we go to inspect and inside console, you can see some of the files has not been loaded and we have these strange header that we got up here. It's because the layout that we have here, the header, the body and the footer that we have, all of them are from the default page that we had inside the default template. And we need to change them to the headers that we got here. So here, let me copy all of this. So, all right, this is a section and until we reach the section of the content that we got. And let's go inside layout here from top to where we are getting the main body we are, which is here render body. And I'm going to paste it. That's for the header and our main HTML code. And here at the end of the section, I'm going to cut all of the footer part and replace them here inside my layout. So I do actually want this render section. So I'm going to move it down for now. And let's just paste them all out here. Now I'm going to put our render section async up here again. Now let's run it again. All right, you can see the exact HTML page that we wanted is here. Now let's do that for other files as well. So what I'm going to do now, you're going to see this in fast speed and I'm, I'm, and I'm not going to talk inside of it. So 
Uh, what I'm going to do, basically, I just want to make all of the first letters capital. You do not need to do that. I just like them to be this way. And then I'm going to remove the header and the footer of them. All right, now I've done it for all of the files. We also do not need this error method, so I'm just gonna remove it. And let's make the methods that we have. So here we are going to have a public I action result details, and it is going to be return view. All right, I'm just gonna copy it. We are going to create another controller. It's going to be an empty controller, and I'm going to name it admin controller so make sure that the name of the controller that you put here should be as the same as the name of the folder and the name of the methods should be the same as name of the files inside the folder so here we have four html pages i'm going to create four i action results we have login dashboard create and update we're also going to have delete and file uploading and other stuff, but those are going to be added at a later point. Also, there is a one after my controller, so let's remove it and click yes. Okay. Now let's go inside our projects. Let's make sure that everything working right. Here if I type admin and login, all right, we are inside the login page. Uh, not, it looks like our CSS files and uh, JavaScript files has not been loaded. We're gonna fix those. Let's go to dashboard. All right, so let's go into inspects to see what is the problem. All right, so it didn't find any of the sources that we have. These are the sources. It couldn't find this file. Okay, so I believe that the reason it did find them inside the index.html and it is not finding it inside the other files is because that when we put the name of the file like this inside our html page it is going to put the name that we have here after the url and uh, because the main page the index page that we have is the base url it is going to find the file but in this case, it is going to be after the admin dashboard. So it's not loading the file correctly. Let's test our idea out and let's see if it will work. So what I want to do is to put my HTTP localhost and the port address that we have. So what is our port address again? Let's go to launch setting. All right, 5091 and inside our layout, we're going to say 5091 and the route is going to be this in any page that we are. Let's put it this way. All right. What is also better to do to make this dynamic because it is a CSS HTML, we can write some C sharp inside here. So I'm going to say at sign and open up two brackets here. I can write any C sharp code that I want and let's create a string of base URL. I'm gonna put it to HTTP localhost 5091. And now what I can do is put an at sign here and just type base URL and it is going to work just fine. So let's remove the slash in here. Okay, now I'm gonna just paste this for all of the files and if we change it, we're just going to change it one time. And let's replace it here as well. The base URL. Okay. All right. Now the last one. Okay. Now let's run the project. And if our guess is right, the project should just work just as fine. Admin dashboard. What happened? Let's go login. 
Okay, here we can see our CSS is working just fine. And uh, here we have made it a mistake, I guess, because this part only be should be inside the index page. So what we have done inside the layout here, oh yeah, here there is a section that is going to be just inside our index page. So let's go inside our index page, paste it at the very top, test it out again. Uh, okay, now it should just work as fine. And we're going to go into admin create. All right, admin update. Okay, it didn't find the files here, but it doesn't matter because the image is going to be dynamic and uh, uh, what what does matter is that we know our files are working fine and everything is okay except this header and uh, we're gonna fix it in the later video so it's it just about update we're gonna fix it and move on to the things that we're gonna do all right now in the next video we are going to create the models for our application the models that we have the DTOs and separate the data that we are going to save into the database and separate the data for the forms that we have and also we are going to set up the entity framework and create our database all right everyone that's it for this video if you like the way that I teach and if you have any comment write them in in the comment section if you want to support me to create more videos like this you can consider subscribing to the channel or liking this video or both and that would be really inspiring as this very beautiful theme okay so that's it bye bye